Well, today's fishing has been terrible. It's worse than yesterday. Um, you know, at least we caught some fish yesterday. Very disappointed. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, probably one of the most, uh, you know, one of the best memories I have is when I was a little kid and my dad would come and wake me up and a lot of times he wouldn't tell me that we were going to go fishing and it, of course it'd be real early real early in the morning and uh, he'd come in there and he'd shake me and go hey you want to go fishing and uh that was just so exciting now you may not be able to see him but my dad has walked all the way down there where that white van is to get down here on this beach park so that he can walk all the way down here to get this shell and I don't even see the shell now I think the shell is next to where that white cup is okay he's getting closer it's gonna be bad if he gets down here and finds out this was like a hermit crab or something and it crawled off actually this is the most exciting thing that's happened since we've been down here other than catching pinfish you find anything Got that in there yet. Found some? What you got? Uh -huh. They don't have no hermit crabs in them, do they? I hope not. Now, where is this one here? I don't know. I hope it didn't crawl off. No, it was right, here. It was it was right next to that. Cub, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, he could not find the shell. Apparently there was something in the shell and it crawled off. He walked all the way down here and the shell was gone, but he did find four other little shells. Um, he was convinced that that shell could not have a crab in it that was strong enough to carry it around. Um, but anyway, uh, it's funny, you know, how most people, and my dad's got a, a boat. It's my old, one of my old bass boats. And uh, most people, when their parents get older, you know, they kind of get to the point where they have to take their car. Um, my dad don't even like to drive. He don't even hardly try to drive anymore. But uh, my dad's gonna be the one where instead of taking his car, uh, we're gonna have to take his boat because he does not want to give up that boat. And he can't hardly get in and out of the boat. Um, and, then, and then, look at this wall. I looked down there a minute ago and he was up against the wall with his arms on it. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm gonna climb up this wall. <laughs> and I, said, I said, you can't climb up that wall. He goes, well, I guess I'll need to walk back down here. And I said, yeah, you need to walk back down there. Cause I was just sitting there thinking, oh my Lord, I'm gonna have to drag him up <laughs> this wall. But anyway, uh, three days with my dad. Yeah, he has also helped me make sure that I'm keeping everything locked. I mean, if I walk five feet away from my truck, it better be locked. I mean, he is obsessed with having stuff locked up. Uh, and you know what? He's had a lot of stuff stolen. Uh, when he worked in Chattanooga, he had, he had his truck broken in several times. And, uh, and we had our house broken in once. So... Um, I, I don't even halfway lock my stuff half the time. I don't bother doing it. I figure my truck's sitting right there. I can see it. If somebody tries to break in my truck, I can run over there and tackle them before they even get in it. But, buddy, he wants it locked. And he is. He, the, the truck locks and the emergency brake. you got to watch him because he'll turn on your emergency brake. And you'll start riding down the road. And, you know, you, next thing you know, your car's on fire because he's got your emergency brake on. And you're down here in Florida. It's all flat. But, anyway... I uh, gotta keep an eye on him while, while he's down here. Uh, but we're having a good time. Um, I wish I'd catch a fish. This is really starting to get on my nerves that I can't catch a fish. You know, I've never realized how relaxing not catching fish can be. Not catching fish is very relaxing. You're not having to get up and down. You're not having to worry about bait, getting bait, putting bait on casting standing up all those things that bother you just sit here and the sun's going down 
and it's nice and cool in the parking lot of this restaurant and there's palm trees around and they're playing music and uh, it's very relaxing not catching fish. I probably need to try this more often. Try to not catch fish. Maybe if I try to not catch fish, I'll catch fish. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, there's a guy on YouTube I just subscribed to. He, he gardens and he, one of the things in his title is something about how I spent a thousand dollars, you know, to grow tomatoes. <laughs> well, buddy, <laughs> I can promise you, I have spent way more money trying to catch fish than you can imagine trying to grow tomatoes. Uh, I have had four, well, my, my Lord, I've probably had five or six boats. I have spent, oh my God, I, I bet I've spent $50,000 <laughs> probably recently just trying to catch fish. Just trying to catch fish. If I just spent the money on fish, if I just went and bought fish instead of spending all the money trying to catch fish, I mean, every time you buy shrimp, you know, it's five or ten bucks to buy some shrimp. You know, for ten bucks, I can go down there and buy shrimp. <laughs> My wife gets on to me all the time about it. I try to explain to her, you know, but I don't, I don't even try. No, I don't, I don't even try to explain it to her. There's no way to explain it. There's no way to explain the amount of money and time that you spend trying to catch fish to somebody that does not like to catch fish. It's unexplainable. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to explain it to you guys because you wouldn't understand it. But just take my word for it. $1,000 is chump change for growing tomatoes when it compares to the amount of money. Ask any fisherman. Try to, try, to, try to nail them down and get them to tell you exactly how much money they spend. I may have to calculate it. I'm afraid to calculate it. But I, I can promise you, it's way more than the fish are worth. Now, the fishing's fun. Like I said, it's relaxing when you're not catching any fish. You can come up with stuff like this. 